Hi guys, um, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on how I've created a slit scan style effect. Now, whilst I'm fully aware that this isn't the normal way to create a slit sta scan style effect, this is the way I'm going to be doing it. I've got a free program here called um, Google SketchUp, which um, quite a few of you will probably know about already. And anyway, um, it's relatively simple to use and you know if I can use it you can use it basically so what we're going to do is we're going to um, just create a circle uh, with it using the create circle tool so we click on the space and we drag the circle out and we've got a circle now it creates the object on a 3d plane which um, means that basically it will be um, you know you can move around it through it all that sort of stuff anyway what we're going to do is we're going to use the push and pull tool here and we're going to um, drag it through I'm moving around using the middle mouse button by the way for people who don't know how to use the program and what I'm doing is I'm creating what uh, a lot of people will probably know is um, a tube sort of shape alright now what, I'm what I've got to do now is I've got to create another um, circle directly in the center of this circle now it's quite hard to do that so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a point here using the line tool um, I'm going to select the um, point here and I'm going to just drag it all the way down to the bottom now it should be appearing as a blue line there I'll just zoom you in slightly more so that you can see it you see this is an interactive tutorial can't do that with fraps um, I just can't use fraps because I'm crap like that and it's not giving me access, whatever that means. But I don't care about all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, use the circle tool to create another circle, um, which is going to be here using the center thing. I'm going to drag that all the way out to about there. I'm going to then use my rubber to rub these bits out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save it as tunnel, but I'm going to call it tunnel one because I've already got a tunnel. So this is, this is my example. Now what I'm going to do right now directly while this is in front of me is I'm going to quickly go to the viewpoint, go to animation, hang on I'll just um, zoom you out, interactive tutorial, um, go to the animation thing and I'm going to click add scene, go up to the scene one, I'm going to click update, control save. Okay, what I've done there is I've just saved the um, the animation. Um, then I can go into animation settings, and I'm going to keep the scene tra scene transitions to two seconds. I'm going to take the scene delay <coughs> and put it at zero seconds. Um, this will probably make absolutely no sense to most people watching it. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to click on the center here. I'm going to bring it forwards. No, I'm not. I'm going to bring it backwards. Ah, oh, stop going forwards, you wretched thing. Yes. Basically, I'm going to slide it backwards into the tube, like so, so that it comes out the other end. And that will create a block here in the tube. Okay, so we click the update, and it will take us directly back to where we were. So I'm going to save that. Now, I'm going to drag the edge of the tube out even more, so it's quite massive. Um, just try and cut the center out there using the eraser tool. Now, the reason I'm making the tube long is because it's better that the tube is long so that it has more of um, an effect. Um, this is just going to be a small tube. Normally, you'll want one which is at least ten times this in terms of size, but yeah at the moment we've got a single tube <clears throat> and it's here so I'm just going to adjust that so that to try and get it so that the um, the main point is at the center of the screen using the middle mouse button and the other one to move it around so we've got about normal about the center so we're in the in the belly of the beast as it were so I'm going to update that that should save the setting and you should see a pinprick of light at the end. I'm going to go to the color tool. I'm going to click select. Um, for some reason, my color tool's messed up today and is not 
doing things right. I'm going to go to colours, which takes ages to load for me for some reason. I'm just going to colour that little bit in at the end there so that we've got a pinprick of blackness in our slit scan effect. Right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide all the way along and I'm going to right click on scene 1 I'm going to click add and I'm going to click update on the second one so you've got a standard zoom into blackness now of course on a normal slit scan effect you've got you will be able to go into that for a long time and on the one which I uploaded which is about 30 times as long the ch the tunnel is you know it's um you've got a lot more to in be in between but anyhow that that's not the point at the moment what I'm going to do is then go to the um, edit tool um, I'm going to go to use texture image and I'm going to use a picture of me um, holding a stupid pole and looking like an idiot and I'm going to add that to the outer layer here um, for some reason it's gone and added the other ones back but I, what, what I want is I want my, myself looking like an idiot in the outer zone so there's loads and loads of me's there now this doesn't look like a slit scan effect at the moment it looks appalling and atrocious it looks like me in the morning so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ah no I don't want to do that control Z um, I'm going to click red just to do this to make it so that it's a different texture thing and to use the texture image, use the texture image of me, and it's kept the thing as black in the middle, which is excellent. Now, what I'm going to do is, this is where it creates the effect. Oh my god, the camera's gone all blurry, hang on. Yeah, we've got it back. I don't know how much of it has been lost because of this. White balance, white balance, white balance, stop it. Yeah, anyway, I don't know how much of this has been um, done so far. Anyway, what I'm going to do is, um, whilst I've got the texture image selected here, with the texture select, and yeah, control save that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the lock and unlock button under the te use texture image thing, which should break it. Break it, you wretched thing. Anyway, um, I'm going to up it to, say... 20 meters in that direction and I'm going to link it's got the broken thing there which is very important I'm going to put 90 over here maybe change that to 9 maybe change that to 4 okay now you can probably see that the distorted image is creating a very very groovy effect ow ah oh, god damn it sorry <coughs> not very well at the moment anyway um, I'm going to go to um, about 30 there and I'll just check, change that to say 14, um, 15, no, I'll call that 2 or 3, call it 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. As you can see, it distorts the image around in a, very, in a variety of different ways, which makes it look quite cool. Of course, this always seems to be a sort of slip point there. But that doesn't really matter, and uh, I'll just put it up, um, something like that because it uh, it will just look better for the purposes of the video. Anyway, um, <clears throat> what we've got now is we've got a tunnel, which we can travel through like so. Oh, that's groovy, isn't it? Um, right. Um, I'll just sort of change that because that's a little bit epileptic at the moment. Um, so I'll change that to um, I'll change it to about 20 and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to view animation settings enable scene transitions and I'm going to change it to 9 although with a 31 I with the 30 sized one I um, had a much longer scene transition so what we've got now is we've got a scene transition to scene 2 where you go through a slit scan type effect like so now of course um, it's not the ideal picture to use um, if the more variation on your picture the better in terms of making it look good 
for example, um, and I'll use an image by um, one of my friends, um, Sarah, I think. Let's see. Um, I'll use one of her images to create a slit scan tunnel. Like so. Right. This is an image by my friend Sarah and um, I'm creating a slit scan effect with it and it's all zooming towards the camera. Okay? Which is pretty damn groovy to be honest, isn't it? Okay, now what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to save the image although technically I could probably just record it like this, that would be absolutely fine. Um, <clears throat> so I'll save the image and I will export it as animation and I'll call the animation Craig export. Now that's going to export it as an AVI. Now basically what we've got here is um, we've got an animation which um, will not directly go into the center because I haven't spent years adjusting it but I don't need to do that because of the uh, of Sony Vegas which is the other program which I'm going to be using oh this is complicated why don't you render faster you wretched thing yeah um, I'll just get rid of that because no one wants to know that I play League of Legends um, yeah uh, anyway I'm going to be loading it into this program which is um, Sony Vegas now I like using Sony Vegas because um, whilst it's quite expensive, it creates a really good, um, a really good sort of. Um, it's a really good program for editing tools. Um, you've got loads of different video effects, that sort of thing. I'm just saying all this crap while I'm waiting for this wretched animation to en enter. If only I'd given it six or seven seconds, I could have just stretched it out, which would have been uh, a much cleverer thing to do. Anyway, I'm going to go into desktop and um, it's being um, put here I am saving it as Craig aren't I because that would be an embarrassment if I wasn't and I loaded the wrong thing because I'm an idiot right um, desktop come on yep that's nine seconds long it, it has to be Craig either that or it's a really dodgy video oh, I guess we'll never oh wait we will know because I'm gonna put it into this thing now all right. Oh wow, it turns out that it is the animation. Sorry to all of you folks out there who thought I was going strange. Right, now we've got it loaded into the editor. So I can give you back a bit of control over the scene and you can see what I'm doing. Yay, that's really great. Sorry about the lack of balance. So yeah, we've got the image which is in this um, section up here. I'm just going to quickly add a bit of brightness to it so that you can see what's going on more clearly because the white balance is all off on the camera and it looks dreadful so there we go we've got our scene there now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim the end off which comes into um, this sort of ball shape so I'm going to trim the end off there so I've got about six to eight seconds of it now I'm going to the event pan and crop piece at the moment it starts off relatively fine but actually no what I need to do first is I need to go to the cookie cutter tool so I'm going to get a, t a circle center tool and I'm going to reverse that so cut away all but section to cut away section I'm going to reduce the size to about there I'm going to add a little bit of feathering in so what we've got here is we've got our thing at the center of the storm. Now you probably can't see it on the screen but the dot in the middle is not properly centered so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up now into um, the big screen as it were. This is the editing tool um, which is the event pan top thing which is here if I haven't shown you. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two points now what I'm doing to create these points is I hold down the control button and I click on the diamond once and then I click on it again and I drag it all the way to the end so there it is at the end and here it is at the beginning now I'm going to make sure that my lock aspect ratio is on which is very important for this tool um, I 
think, yeah, I'll just move that across a bit. The lock aspect ratio is very important. And I'm going to just slide it downwards a little bit to make it so that I can move this white point at the centre of the screen into the direct eye of the storm. So that is perfect. So it creates the um, eye there. That's where I want my iris. Now, in, this, in part two of this, which is all the way at the end, of course, the eye of the storm has changed position. So I want to change this as well. I want to move it directly into the centre of the eye of the storm. Right. So that should create a perfect fluid tracking motion throughout the entire video. Um, just reposition camera. Um, give you the full video. I'm not going to blow it up to the full screen because it'll probably lag out at the moment. Actually, sod it. I will blow it up to the full screen. It might give you a better. Um, it'll give you a better uh, idea of what you're going to be expecting with this. So I'll full screen it. And there we have it at the beginning. Of course, you can tweak around with the cookie cutter to get a better effect with it. But that is a standard time tunnel effect which is very similar to the one which they used in Doctor Who and um, what you can do then is you can minimize the um, amount of video you've got and you can just stretch that out so you've got and it goes a bit slower I'll speed it up so that it doesn't look like the frames are lagging you can upload it in um, like double the frame rate um, to create more um, more of an effect. Of course um, at the moment the cookie cutting is terrible and it needs probably a lot more feathering than that. A um, lot bigger. There we go. Um, still looking pretty wretched on the screen but yeah what you've got at the moment is you've got it peeling, the image is peeled around the centre and it looks absolutely awesome. So yeah, that is how to create a slit scan time tunnel. All you've got to do then is click the render as. I'm not going to do this one. I'll just link the one which I've already created in the sidebar. But that is an example of how to make a time tunnel using a, an effect which will look like the slit scan in Doctor Who. And I hope you've enjoyed that. Anyway, bye!